$0.63 US cents. A million dollar robot is helping surgeons replace dodgy knees with patients up and about just hours after their operations. The machine at St Vincent's private hospital enables specialists to replace joints with pinpoint accuracy. Medical reporter Emily Rice has this exclusive report. 80-year-old osteoarthritis sufferer Alan Skipper is already back on his feet, little more than five hours after having a total knee replacement. If this is any indication, um, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah, so I'll be good for another 40 years. A top St Vincent's private hospital team carried out the successful operation this morning, along with an artificial helping hand. Wrapped in protective plastic, a million-dollar surgical robot. The robot is a tool that we use to help us with the operation. The grandfather is the first Victorian to undergo a full knee replacement with the robotic assistant. Before any incisions are made, a 3D model of Alan's unique anatomy is created. This guides surgeon Dirk van Bavel to remove diseased bone with pinpoint accuracy and precisely place the knee implant. <laughs> The technology also enables specialists to check that the tension of the ligaments, the joint's connective fibres, is perfect. What Ray needs to do is give the patient a pain-free joint that moves like a normal joint and will last them for a long period of time. Wife Jeanette says before the operation, her husband of 56 years was struggling to walk. Pain was tremendous at times and trying to bend the knee was almost impossible. She's simply amazed by the technology. We really do live in a wonderful age. With more than 50,000 knee replacements conducted in Australia every year, the demand for robotic assistance is only going to increase in the hospital setting. But the human touch won't disappear from the operating theatre just yet. It won't replace me, hopefully in my lifetime. Emily Rice, Nine News. Well, Lavinia